Sometimes you gotta crank up the crazy and produce the most out of the box thing that you can. From what you see, we'll do hopefully just that by creating this waving seamless motion graphic title with some awesome contrasted lighting effects. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Hope you're doing excellent today. Be sure to drop a like on this video. If you're ready to create something that's going to be outside the box, drop a like on this video and let's get started. All right, here we are inside of After Effects. And this time we do highly suggest you download our project files for free because you're going to need one overlay asset in order to make this effect work and just download it. You can get it for free. Um, but we'll talk about this in a second. So here we are in our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a title with no animation. So our goal in this composition is to quickly just build out a title. So for example, I can take our title layer, go to say edit, duplicate, and I can bring it down. Uh, and I can come here to the character window where you see the swap fill stroke icon here. I'm going to go do that. So we have a stroke version of our title and I can set the stroke width here to about three. And I'll be sure to set the color to white as well. And then we can duplicate it and I can put it above our original title. Another thing that I can do is I can grab the pen tool here at the top, make sure fill is turned off and click on the word stroke and make sure it's at the solid color. And I can draw out a straight line across like this, hold down shift and we'll have a straight line. And then I can duplicate the layer and I can bring it down. So the goal of this is just to build a very quick title design. You can use whatever elements that you wish to use. One other thing we wanna do in this composition is also create ourselves a background. So go to layer, new, solid, and we'll call it background. And what I'm gonna do here is just select a very dark blue background color and then click okay. All right, beautiful. So then when you have your design and background ready to go, all we need to do is take our layers here, go to layer pre-compose and we'll call it placeholder and click okay. Then we wanna pre-compose this one more time and we'll name it seamless and click on move all attributes into new composition, click okay. Then we'll go through both these compositions and make sure we go back to the original one. And then we'll go up here to composition, composition settings. Then we'll come here to the width and height and crunch down on our title. And once all said and done, you should have hardly any space around your title placeholders. All right, so then we'll go back one composition here to our seamless comp. And this time around, we're gonna do composition, composition settings again. And we're gonna set the width and height to 4,000, just like this and click okay. So now we'll take our placeholder layer, go to effect, stylize, and we're gonna grab motion tile. And then we simply come here to output width and height and we increase these numbers until we're filling up our entire composition with our repeated uh, title. All right, so once this effect is set up, we can simply just animate the tile center real quick. So add a keyframe there, go to the end of your edit, and then we can simply animate the Y and X value, however you see fit. And by animating this, you'll have some sort of movement like this and that looks okay. So once this is done, we'll pre-compose this one more time and we'll call it displace and click okay. All right, so now we're gonna create this waving effect that you'll see in the final result. It's gonna look awesome. So here we are, we have our displace layer. We're gonna bring in the overlay element that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. We're gonna bring it underneath our displace layer and we're gonna go ahead and pre-compose it. We'll call it overlay. And then we'll go into that composition. Make sure that composition is 4,000 by 4,000. You'll see that right there. And we'll come here to effect, stylize. We'll grab motion tile. And we'll expand the output width and the height to fill up the entire comp. Make sure you check on mirror edges. And then when everything's set up, go back to your previous comp. We'll come here to the overlay layer, come here to effect, blur and sharpen, and we're gonna grab a quick uh, fast box blur. Set the blur radius to 24, that's done. Then let's come here to our displace layer, come here to effect, distort, and we'll grab displacement map. And we'll come here to the displacement set at five, we'll set it to 30 and set it for the other settings to 30 as well. And then come here to the displacement map layer set to overlay and change the source to effects and mask. And now we're going to have this waving effect throughout our work. Before we move further into this tutorial, are you looking to save time and produce awesome work right here inside of After Effects? Well, this is our Pulse After Effects template pack here inside of After Effects. With our Motion Duck extension, we can preview and apply templates with one click of a button. Then we can modify the templates within a few seconds, and then we have a full After Effects composition complete. You can check out this pack along with our other 15,000 plus templates with our links in the description below. You can also get access to all these packs and future templates we produce with our Motion Duck subscription plan. All those links will be below, and now let's get back into the video. So now that everything's set up for success here, now we can really stylize our composition and make it look awesome. So we'll go back up to our main composition, which is the 1920 by 1081. If you don't have that, just go ahead and pre-compose this and uh, create yourself a 1920 by 1080 composition. We want to make sure that this composition is a 3D layer by clicking that 3D layer icon. And then we hit R on our keyboard for rotation and we can just rotate this. So we'll set our X rotation to say negative 65 and the Z rotation to like 25. Nice, and then you can just you know scale this up and maybe reposition um, this as you see fits. 
So we have a lot of room here and that looks good. So we gotta take this very plain piece of work here and turn it into something that's gonna be highly stylized. So what we're gonna do is take our overlay layer again, bring it on top of our seamless title. Uh, we'll go ahead and just quickly apply that fast box blur again. We'll set it to 24 and you know, there it is. We can scale this up by a little bit. You know, it just depends on how you want this to look. So I'll set it to like maybe 115. And we'll set our blend mode, toggle switch to modes, set your blend mode to multiply for the top one. Then we're gonna come here, duplicate the layer and we'll duplicate it one more time. And for the middle layer, we'll set the blend mode from multiply to linear light. All right, so this is looking good so far, but one thing we can do is set the opacity of the center layer here to maybe 50% or even lower, and this will help blend this a little bit better. So right now we'll have this nice shadow rolling through our seamless title with that wave there going on in the background. It looks really nice. So now we gotta enhance this with some extra effects. So we'll go ahead and create ourselves a quick layer, new adjustment layer. We'll quickly go to effect, noise and grain and add noise. We'll set it up to 12%, uncheck use color noise, and we'll also come here to effect color correction. We'll grab curves, and we can use the RGB here to just help enhance the lighting of the scene so you can raise this up if you wanna make it a little brighter. You can create yourself like an S curve if you wanna create more contrast. So just use the curves effect to control the lighting of the scene, and it makes a big difference. Another effect that we could quickly apply, just to add a little bit more stylistic touch to this, we go to effect, distort, and we grab a CC lens effect. You know, that looks pretty cool, but we're gonna set the size as I'll say like 250, 260. You know, this will create somewhat of a warping around the edges. I just like it a lot. Another effect we can apply is go to perspective and add a CC spotlight effect. And you can control the spotlight effect by these two anchor points. There's one in the center. You can move it around and play the settings. We might come here to edge softness up to 100%. You know, we'll decrease the intensity by a little bit and it just adds a nice little touch to it. You probably can't see it now, but it helps around the edges a little bit. And if you've been following the steps in this video, you can have a really cool scene like this here inside of After Effects. I added some quick titles here. These are templates from within our Pulse Pack. You can just drag and drop them into your scene uh, and then edit your titles as you see fit. But it really looks like we built a unique motion graphic scene and it just looks awesome. All right, let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more tutorials like this where it's a little bit more on the abstract side, has a lot of cool effects being stacked on each other. And if you haven't already, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel and always be creating.